Welcome. This tutorial will walk you through the process of updating your information that appears in your Navigator profile. Start by going to the Internet. Any Internet browser that you use will work. Perhaps you use Chrome, Internet Explorer, Firefox, any of those are fine or something else, just whatever you need to get to the Internet. We're going to use Chrome. Go to the Balloon Fiesta website, which is located at www.balloonfiesta.com. When that site opens, from the menu bar at the top, select Contact Us, and a drop-down menu will appear. In the drop-down menu, select Volunteering. And now that you have been assigned to a team and officially are a navigator, you can access the Navigator Central page. We will explain all the features on the Navigator Central page in a separate tutorial. For now, we simply want the Navigator Profile option located at the top of the page here. This is your login page for your Navigator profile. You may like to bookmark this page so that you can return to it easily. To log in, simply enter your email address using the email address that you used when you completed your registration. Enter your password. If you've forgotten your password, click the link that says forget your password and you'll be sent a reset option. If you don't remember getting a password or you didn't receive one, click this link here and the system will help you set one up. Once you have your password, enter it here, then click go. You have now been signed into your profile. Your profile, which is accessible through this My Profile tab, contains all of the information that you entered when you completed your registration. Actually, some of the information does not appear, but most of it does. Any of the information that you may change. For instance, you may have moved. You can update your address here. If you've changed your phone number or your email, put that here. Perhaps you've added some skills that you'd like us to know about to utilize when you're volunteering. Or maybe some skills have lapsed or certifications have lapsed and you'd like to remove those. At any point, you can click the Save button, which appears throughout the page. If you'd like to update your sizes, that's located on this part of the page. Your driver's license information, perhaps it had expired and you need to give us a new expiration date. If you drive a Balloon Fiesta vehicle, we do need your driver's license information. If you do not drive a Balloon Fiesta vehicle, this information is not required. Perhaps your physical abilities have changed. If you'd like us to know that you have some limitations that you'd like us to take into account, please indicate those here. We would love it if you'd upload a photo of yourself. Simply click Upload, and that will allow you to choose a file from someplace on your computer. Upload. Most importantly, we'd like to know your plans for the upcoming Balloon Fiesta. There are four options. Maybe you're taking this year off, but you'll be back the following year. Select this option. If you know that you're going to be helping us this year, select this option. Perhaps you're done volunteering with us and you won't be returning 
This option is the one you'd select for that. If you're not yet sure of your plans, you can click this button here. You can either notify us once you do know your plans, or your team leader will reach out to you when scheduling begins. You can also tell us if you'd like to return to the same area where you volunteered in the past. Maybe you'd like a new area, you'd like to experience something different. Or if you really don't have a preference and you'd just like to be placed wherever we have the greatest need, select this box. Some teams will be using the self-scheduling feature. This option allows you to notify other volunteers when you're scheduled, and they'll see your name when they sign in to schedule. You can take that off so that they don't see your name, or you can select that. Please make sure we have current emergency contact information in the event that we need to contact someone on your behalf during the event. Again, at any point, you can click on the Save button, and any changes you've made will be saved. When you've updated your information, simply click the Exit button, and you will be logged out of the system. Thank you.